On Thursday morning, December 18th, 2008, the cast of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd appeared on The Catholics Next Door on Sirius Satellite Radio 159 and XM Satellite Radio 117. If you happen to miss this appearance, fear not, for here it is used to do the Rosary Army Catholic podcast, which we recently brought to a close, uh, but it was something that we enjoyed doing, and as a result, we got to meet a lot of other people who were doing very creative and entertaining types of podcasts. One podcast that we started listening to from the get-go, and we've been listening to it now for several years, and a podcast, if you're, if you're not familiar with it, it can't be any simpler. Basically, you go out on the internet, you click a button, and you listen to an MP3, or you can download it and listen to it on your iPod or whatever you got. But for us, I mean, our kids will sit there, and for this, the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, which we're going to have the creators of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, they'll sit there and look on the website, and you can just click a button and listen to one episode after another. And our kids absolutely love this stuff. I, I immediately, when I first heard it, immediately introduced it to our children. And since then, it has become an absolute staple in our home. It's got great characters. It's got family-friendly content, which is a big thing for us. And it's got history lessons, which I find very interesting. I, I'm like, is this stuff true? Are they, is what they're saying, is it true? It's so funny <laughs> listening to these things. But the big thing is it's truly funny. And, and for me, it's, it's not cheesy funny. It's not catering to a kid going, isn't that funny, little boys and girls? No, it's just, it's just genuinely funny stuff and sometimes completely off the wall. So you know it will appeal to me. Plus, every episode of Dr. Floyd is available for free from drfloyd.com, D-O-C-T-O-R, Floyd.com. Let's listen to a little bit of sample from the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd. As the man edges his way around the room, flinging the shutters together, Dr. Floyd ponders curiously on the name he's been called. If he is Watson and this is a piece of classic literature, then this man could only be... Sherlock Holmes? You were expecting maybe Basil Rathbone? Basil... Never mind. You are no doubt wondering why I'm here. Well, I assume it's because you have a new case. Why, yes, I do. How nice of you to notice. <laughs> it's very stylish, don't you think? Matches my cloak. No, no, I mean... And you have a new mystery to solve. Oh, right. Mm. Watson, have you ever heard of Professor Moriarty? Wasn't he a mathematics professor? That's him. Well, after an extensive investigation, I've come to realize that it is he who has been behind all the recent crimes in London, masterminding numerous acts of evil like some sort of... of uh... Evil mastermind? Precisely. Moriarty is the Napoleon of crime. You mean he plans to invade Russia? No, 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 Watson. It was just a figure of speech. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> it's truly funny stuff. Well, joining us today are indeed the creators of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, Grant Pachoco, and Doug Price. Welcome to the Catholics Next Door, guys. Hey. Thank you. Very Thank you glad to you. have you both. That, now, Grant... Uh, tell us, uh, how did you get started with the whole Dr. Floyd idea? Uh, well, we, we've created these characters uh, many years ago, and um, Doug and I worked at, we met working at Disneyland. Uh, we both worked there, and uh, we, would all, we would have the same shifts, and we would always spend our off time just coming up with ideas, and we kind of created these characters, and it's a combination of some characters Doug created and some that I created, and uh, we so I gotta ask. Wait, wait. You guys worked at Disneyland together. Yeah. Were you like, you know, doing the roller coasters, or were you selling ice cream, or what were you doing? Uh, we were working on the Jungle Cruise. That's where we worked. Uh, the the boats that go around the jungle, and the guys tell the funny jokes and stuff like that. that and so, in your off time, so I, I hope you weren't like in charge of the safety then. No, no, sitting, no, no. If you're sitting around making up characters, you know. And, you yeah, know, no, no, no. People on the Jungle Cruise. All right. No, because if we if we made up characters while we were at Disneyland, Disney would probably own them. So. <laughs> right, exactly. They would be there. <laughs> exactly. Later on, tell, later on, remind me to tell you about a character I just thought of. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Secret code. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then we tried to do a public access television show with the characters, and this was right before you could edit things on your computer. <laughs> and uh, so, so we were paying for the public access editing equipment and all that kind of stuff, and uh, we made one and a half episodes with these characters, and uh, we kind of... Uh, you know, uh, Doug was funding all that, and uh, we ran out of funds. And um, just a couple <laughs> of years Doug. later, I, I just thought it would be fun to do it as sort of an old-time radio show. And um, that was right before the invention of podcasting. And we joked that we started doing the show for 12 listeners, but then when podcasting took off, now we have like 65,000 downloads a month Wow! Uh, of our show. So uh, podcasting really helped us and really made us what we are. 
Well, Doug, you know, you, you are the, the uh, it sounds like you're the bank account behind this whole thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, none and, of and that story is true. Uh, we met in jail. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> well, why is it, Doug, you do the voice of Dr. Floyd. Why is it, why was Dr. Floyd the focus of the whole thing? Because you have so many other characters, too. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, because originally that wasn't even the title of the show, and uh, I think it just flows, and I think because... I think it's centered around him because he's old, and it was an old-time radio show, basically, is what it was. But well, I we guess. needed a hero, and he's the most obvious hero. I yeah, think. yeah, or, but, yeah. Well, okay, so you, so you have all these other characters. You have a uh, you have Doctor Floyd is the is the main guy. So is Doctor Floyd there? <clears throat> uh, hold on, let me check and see. Are you sure you want me to wake him up? And well, and yeah, hopefully it, he won't be it, too if crabby. If he doesn't mind, because <laughs> you know, I, I think that some people might might enjoy uh, getting to know him a little bit. All right, hold on, let me get him. Oh, my goodness. Hello? Hey, uh, Dr. Floyd. Hey, welcome to the yeah. Catholics Next Door, Dr. Floyd. Who is this? The, it's, it, this is Greg and Jennifer from the Catholics Next Door on, on uh, Sirius 159 XM 117. You're on the radio. Oh, uh, what are you selling? Uh, we're, we're not selling anything, <laughs> Dr. Floyd. We're, we're, think... we're having you here on the program to talk about your uh, the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So, 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 so tell us about the show. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's an old-time radio show, and uh, we... Uh, do stuff on it, and, uh, you know, this reminds me of a story back in uh, 1906. Yeah, you, see, you, was, wake him, and? you wake him up, and this is what you get. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and this is what happened. Okay, well, well then also on the program, there, there's you, you, every program that has a hero, you have to have a, a villain of some sort, so, some sort of antagonist here. And for Yes, the, and unfortunately the, it's Dr. Steve. Yeah, Dr. Steve. Dr. Oh, Steve. And he's, we got to find out about he's, this He's guy. pretty villainous. Now, uh, is Dr. Steve on the phone on as well? Show, too. It would be horrible. Well, if you had him on this show, I don't well, think no, you'd no, want see, him. We, we, we like to be a little bit open-minded. We like to you know, give everyone a fair shake here. Uh, and since we are talking about the uh, the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd, yes. I think it would be fair. Is, is Dr. Steve around? Is he there? Yes, the... I'm here. I, and I, I just want to think... say thank you very much for realizing the true talent on the show, me, Dr. No, well, Steve. <laughs> I didn't necessarily say that, Dr. Steve. I was simply trying to imply that... that well, you implied could... it. You implied it all right. You <laughs> implied what well. the true talent is. <laughs> <laughs> well, for every every show like the Radio Adventures of Doctor Floyd, there needs to be a good antagonist. But but Doctor Steve, why is it that you are so set upon you know basically ruining all the plans of Doctor Floyd? Well, I mean, have you, you you've obviously you've heard how eloquent he is early in the morning, and uh, <laughs> really, uh, you know, uh, it, it must be said that uh, someone with as as wonderful good looks as me should always prevail over Dr. Floyd. Yeah. So what are some of the the little misadventures that you like to trip Dr. Floyd up with? I mean, is there one thing that you just love to do that just drives Dr. Floyd crazy? Uh, basically existing. <laughs> existing is what drives Dr. Floyd up the wall. Yeah. But, you know, Dr. Floyd invented this little time and space travel device, and uh, he made two of them, and I stole one of them. Really? Uh, because, you know, it would advance the plot of the story. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> I use it to travel through time to try and steal historical artifacts uh, to bring back and sell on eBay. Ah, oh, eBay. Have you made a lot plan. of money on eBay, Dr. Steve? I have not made one dime on oh, eBay. Okay. And yet you continue to try. Thanks to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm always thwarted. Well, Dr. Floyd, let me ask you a question then. Yes. It, 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 does it get annoying constantly having to travel through time to try to stop Dr. Steve from uh, stealing things from history? It's quite annoying. Yes. Uh, we have to get up early, and um, when we get up early, we're just not, uh, you know, we're not on our game. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Now, what exactly are you a doctor of, Dr. Floyd? Well, I've got a lot of degrees. I've got... Uh, a degree in biology, and uh, let's see. Oh, we're going to be here all day if he's got to list all his degrees. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what about you, Doctor Steve? What What are your degrees in? Biology. I have. Oh boy, now you, you got him started. Ornithology. Oh or boy. Physiology. <laughs> I have a degree in destructive sciences. Destructive sciences. Ooh, yes. That sounds exciting. Now, now is... where does one go to school for a degree in destructive sciences? Well, it's mail order. I have a new uh, mail order system. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you learn things like 
if your parents are in the other room talking about your Christmas presents, you can put a glass to the door and hear what they're saying. That's ah. an example of destructive sciences. Very interesting. Well, we're speaking with Grant Bachoco and Doug Price, as well as the entire cast from the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, which you can hear at drfloyd.com. Now, Dr. Steve, do you work alone, or do you have an assistant that occasionally helps you with these little misdeeds of yours? Well, it's funny that you should ask. I, I do have a little assistant. His name is Fidget. Fidget. And, yes, he's sock-shaped, um, and uh, he's, he's, a good, he's, a, he's an employee and a good friend. Oh, and is you he? can't get better friends than if you pay for them. That's what I always say. <laughs> Well, I have to agree with that. I have to agree with that. Is Fidget around? We'd love to hear him say hello to us. Yeah, hold on. He's. I have him washing the dishes. Hold on one second. Oh, good. Fidget, they want to talk to you on the radio. All right, he's coming here. No, thank you, Dr. Steve. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Fidget, hello. Fidget, welcome to. How are you? Yeah, welcome to the Catholics Next Door, Fidget. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's a little hard to understand you. Uh, typically, uh, I know Dr. Steve has to translate for you a lot of times. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. Bit. yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so, hey, so, Fidget, are you coming over for Christmas dinner? Oh, all right, thank you. All right, so, we'll so, see you there. So, so Dr. Floyd, if, if Fidget is the assistant yes? to your, your evil arch nemesis, do, do you actually get along with Fidget? Oh, yeah, he's a great little suck, you know. We, uh, when, he's, when he's off the clock, he's not so bad. He's not so cl- <laughs> off the clock. And, and, and when, when does, uh, does Dr. Floyd go off the clock if you're constantly having to try to foil the plans of Dr. Steve? We're never off the clock. We work at this 24 hours a day. <laughs> uh, Dr. Floyd, are you there? I think he went to sleep. Dr. He's Dr. asleep. Dr. Oh, Floyd. the poor little guy. Oh, we're speaking with, uh, yeah, yeah, Dr. Floyd. Hey, you're, you're, yeah, you're, this is Greg and Jennifer Willits. You're still on the Catholics next door here oh, on uh, the yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well, let me ask you. When's this over? I got stuff I got to do. Well, 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 Dr. Floyd, before we let what? you go, though, we actually want you have an assistant as well. Dr. Grant is, yes? is your assistant, and he's very helpful, I think, isn't he, in, in a lot of these adventures he that you have. He is helpful. I, that wasn't the word I would pick to describe him, but yes. Well, what word would you use to describe Dr. Grant, then? He's living. Living. Yes. He's, he's alive and he's well. living. He's alive and breathing. <laughs> well, well can, we, can we talk to Dr. Grant? Yeah, well, hold hi. on. I'll get him. He's doing the dishes. Hold on. Uh-oh. He was doing the dishes. So that's what I, I guess that's what of, that's uh, what assistants help. do. Uh, you hey, know, fidget. Hey, 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 Dr. Steve. Or excuse me, Dr. Grant, are you there? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hey, Dr. Grant. Do- now, Dr. Grant. Yeah, you sometimes you're kind of the straight shooter here. We can get a straight answer from you here. It, uh, what's it like working for a guy like Dr. Floyd? I I tell you, there really is not one person who I would enjoy working with more than my hero, Dr. Floyd. He truly is your hero. He really is my hero. Well, that's that's an awfully kind. Are you getting gonna get him a Christmas present this year, Doctor Grant? Um, Twenty dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. Uh, I well, Doctor Floyd, plug your ears. I don't want you to hear. Okay. But I'm getting him a very small hat. A very well. Why would he need why? a small hat? Well, you know, he in a previous experiment he shrunk his head, so he's got a little tiny head. So I got to get him a little tiny him. hat to fit right on top of that. Well, oh, okay. Well, that's so kind. That that, that, that makes sense. Well, <laughs> it, it's a pleasure talking to you. If we could just talk to to Grant and Doug again, that would be great. Uh, I oh, appreciate sure, you being they're on the show. exciting. Oh, yeah, sure. well, th- th- take take care, Doctor Floyd. So okay, so so uh, th- that's Going the, the cast. Th- th- okay, Doctor Floyd, thank you, thank you, appreciate <laughs> that. That's the cast of the Radio Adventures of Doctor Floyd, created by Grant Bachoco and Doug Price. Uh, Grant and Doug, are, are you back on the phone now? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, wonderful! So uh, glad you're back. Yeah, th- 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 those guys have to keep you very, very busy. I would think. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. they do. They do. Yes, they're always running around uh, inside our minds. And yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so how how many uh, episodes or how many seasons? I guess because you break them off into seasons that tell full stories. How many seasons have you done now? Well, we're currently we're finishing up our seventh season, and each season has about thirteen episodes. I think there was one season that had fifteen episodes. Yeah. And now, are all of these seasons? Um, and I'll throw this question at Doug. Can you find all of these seasons on your on your website available for free download anytime? Uh, every single one of them, yes. 
Oh my goodness, that is so tremendous so of you guys. Well, the, I, I do want to say the, the the some of the older episodes you have to be an Imagination Ranger to download them. Just well, what's we an Imagination running, Ranger? Well, we were running out of space. I just don't want to. I just don't want to give the impression that it, most of our stuff is for free on the website, and you can listen to it. Yes. Yeah, we decided to have a club because we didn't want just anybody anybody listening to our show. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exclusive, are we? <laughs> but we had so no, no. many people that were just not up to par listening to the show, and we had to put a stop to it. That's not. True. We welcome everybody. <laughs> but you do put the new episodes uh, out on your website at, at drfloyd.com. Now, is it mostly just the two of you doing this, or do you have other people who join in and also participate as cast members? Yeah, well, we it is mostly the two of us, but we've been very fortunate to have a lot of great guest stars come be on the, uh, you know, on the show. And in that little clip you played, that was uh, the legendary Stan Freeberg doing the voice of Sherlock Holmes there. Oh, very cool. And um, But we've had Jeffrey Tambor from Arrested Development and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. And, oh, yeah. Um, Don Novello, who was Father Guido Sarducci, he played Galileo <laughs> on our show. <laughs> Which and, that one, i got to tell you, confused my kids a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and we've even had um, Greg Willis on as the narrator oh, in one of our live cool. episodes. I, I which, imagine that. Which I got to tell you, it was was like a complete and total highlight of of my life to be able to do that too. To be able, the the narrator in a Doctor Floyd episode and to come home and play that for my children, I was like a hero for a month. It was just the greatest thing to them. Well, now, and it's, it was very it was very cool because I think you're one of the few narrators we've grabbed out of the audience who was fantastic and did it perfectly right away. You know, like Aww, see, you're so there was no nice. worries whatsoever. You were <laughs> you were excellent. Well, I appreciate that, and I'll pay you. Uh, you're I'll send you your check later on today as well. I appreciate that. Well, again, uh, drfloyd.com. D o c t o r f l o y d dot com spelled out uh, and i it's great in the car we listen to it I, I have it on my ipod and whenever jennifer runs into the grocery store we're always putting on episodes of dr floyd because they're short and they're sweet but the, the kids the kids just love them right right off the gate you guys are doing great work absolutely wonderful Thank i hope you, you keep it up Thank any you. plans for dr floyd in 2009 well, we have our big uh, holiday episode is coming out Monday, which is in 2009, but our big holiday episode is going to be released on Monday. And, Great. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but it's called Yes, Fidget, There is a Santa Claus. Oh, interesting. Uh, All right. Um, yeah, well, we'll... And, and in 2009, we're just uh, we're going to keep doing shows. That's what we're doing. Well, we'll post a link over at gregandjennifer.com uh, in case anyone's searching around trying to find the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd on the program today. Grant Bachoco and Doug Price. Guys, thanks so much for being on the Catholics Next Door today. It was a blast. Thanks, no guys. problem. Talk All to right. you soon. Oh, it's tons of fun. If you haven't had an opportunity to listen to their podcast, be sure to go check it out uh, online at their website. DrFloyd.com is the, is the place to get it. Lots more fun stuff still ahead here on The Catholics Next Door. Super special thanks to Greg and Jennifer Willits. Be sure to check out their website at www.gregandjennifer.com and set your imagination to fun.